A few weeks ago, I was itching for an adventure. Something to get me re-inspired, feel free, and experience life with zero expectations. Routing what was around me, I came up with a few spots and decided to go on a road trip with my two friends, Mike and Mitch. Bringing our cameras with us, we captured everything along the way. This is our 48 hour road trip. For our first stop, we arrived at the Valley of Fire. Cutting it pretty close to sunset, we only had 30 minutes to capture the last light of the day. The sky is going off like crazy right now. Shooting for video and shooting for photo is a lot different. He has a 1635 on, and what he's doing is he's underexposing the image just ever so slightly so we can get the color out of the sky. And then what he's gonna do later is he's gonna pull the shadows up from the road and bring that detail back because it's much easier to pull detail out of shadows than it is yeah. to pull detail out of blown highlights because you're never gonna get that detail back. I'll show you those photos in three, two, one. Alright, so we just drove through the night and we got to our spot right now. We are in the middle of nowhere. There's zero light. The only thing that's illuminating me right now is this car. We're shooting manual right now, raw photo, 3x2, 42 megapixels, a aperture of 2.8, ISO 4000, and a shutter of 15 seconds. 24 photos a second. We're gonna roughly try and get a time lapse for five seconds, so we're gonna have to take 120 photos right now. Morning. Just got out here for sunrise. This looks so cool with the light. So for this shot, we're at a f-stop of 2.8. This is another really good thing about the Sony is that you have an EVF, that's just short for electronic viewfinder. When you look through here, when you're changing the shutter, it's actually what the photo is going to turn out to be. Super wide. So the A7R3 takes these new cards. So here, check this out. See it right there, buffering them. If you're switching between photo and video really quick, you can't start shooting video while it's still buffering, which I tried to do. This has S-Log2 and S-Log3. So the settings I use specifically on the Sony cameras is PP6. And then in that, you can set what the color space is. And I shoot with Cine4. Yeah, that's the thing about this trip is, you know, we went into it with zero expectations, not really a plan. 
just kind of a couple different spots we wanted to go to and it ended up being one of the best trips I could have imagined. It was a great time.